Hey everyone, Brent here, coming to you from the Tallinn airport, and I am currently waiting on my flight to Berlin. I am uh, going there to hang out with a fraternity brother of mine, I haven't seen him in a couple years, and as always, I want to bring you guys along. So, yeah, let's, let's do it. All right, everyone. I finally made it here to Berlin, and uh, new fresh day. It's February first, so there's that going for you. But before I start off this video and go into my travels, I want to give a huge thank you to my buddy Schlub for allowing me to stay at his place this week and just crash on on his couch because it it's amazing to have good friends like that, and I can't thank him enough. For the hospitality that he's uh, shown me here so um, yeah let's uh, let's get to it first I'm gonna start off by going to the uh, Berlin Wall the art gallery and from there I'm not sure and since I'm spending a week here this video is going might get kind of long but I'm, I'm try my best to keep it short and just give y'all the little clips and see how that works out so let's go I'm here at the East Side Art Gallery in Berlin, and you know you can see as I'm walking by it now, it's uh, it's really interesting to see how they able to turn something so divisive into something so pretty with so much art. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I got a couple clips of it, and uh, hope you guys enjoy. guys it is freezing cold here and I'm not sure how long my phone's gonna hold up hopefully it doesn't do the same thing it did to me in Helsinki but uh we shall see and there's a little more of the wall there so yeah let's keep on exploring all right guys yeah so it's day three of my trip to Berlin uh, I don't have nothing for day two it was rainy it was nasty so we just kind of honk out here at this uh, flat so it's still not too great outside but we'll um, try to get out and see some shops or something like that today so let's get some breakfast and we'll get on all right guys so i'm out here just kind of touring the city uh, i don't got too much video for today i got some on the gopro um the weather's kind of nasty but uh behind me you'll see charlie uh, checkpoint charlie and uh yeah we'll, hopefully the weather will be better the uh, over the next couple days, I get some better footage and stuff for you guys. So let's see. So, so we're day four of my trip to Berlin and yeah so Berlin actually decided to give us a nice day out so I'm gonna go out here actually do some recording today and this will probably be it I got like three days left here but 
if I continue the video will get super long I don't want to do that to you guys so after today I'll probably come back and um, do a review of what I think of Berlin so far and yeah so let's get to it hey everyone how's it going finally made it out here on the city a little bit and first stop I come will show you behind me is the uh, memorial for the murdered Jews of Europe and it's it's breathtaking when you really think about it you, it's it's definitely a sight to see um, and it's a really interesting monument or not monument but memorial uh, to see because it, it changes each way you look at it um, but yeah you guys can check it out in this clip here Berlin, you're living in impression on it, that's for sure. Hey guys, so, so it's day five here in Berlin, and I know I said I wasn't going to video anymore after yesterday, but I, I, I cannot like pass this place up. So behind me is this really nice palace. I'll put the name running across the stream. Yeah, um, really nice palace. And so um, Google actually recommended it to me, so check it out, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, there's going to be a little bit more uh, video to this. Alright guys, so as I'm walking around this palace, it is stunning, but I, I really want to come back here in the, um, in the summer or spring, definitely when it's warmer because, you know, it, everything's so dead because of winter, and I can only imagine this place with all the greenery and stuff, it'd be just awesome. So. But here it looks like we finally made it to the garden. Let me show you guys a little bit. Alright guys, well, in case you can't tell, I'm back in a Tartu and uh yeah, give me a quick second to get back to my flat and whatnot, and I'll wrap up this video. All right, guys. So um, I kind of lied to y'all because I, um, yeah, this is the next day. I decided to go to sleep and whatnot. But anywho, let's get back to my review of Germany and kind of what it taught me and what I learned. So yeah, um, when I first got there, it. It was kind of an eye-opener to me. Uh, I wasn't exactly sure or familiar with Germany uh, or Berlin, I guess, for a matter. And um, and the areas I was in is like a really grungy um, part of the city and uh, kind of remind me of like Mad Max maybe a little bit. Um, but as I went and I explored the rest of the city, it was um, it was really nice. It really was. I, I love Germ uh, Berlin and uh, I definitely want to go back there um, when it's summer because there was a lot of parks and stuff that I was walking around in and I, I could just imagine like how pretty that place would be if with all the greenery and like things were blooming and stuff um, but yeah so one thing Berlin um, made me to like remind myself because I like oftentimes you, you forget to like, keep an open mind and um, my trip there like reminded me that you know go in with an open mind and you always have the best experience because nothing can go wrong um and you pretty much expect the unexpected and so i went and uh, luckily the buddy i was staying with he took me to a uh, comedy show and a like improv thing and it was really cool um to see that kind of side of the city i've never done any of those things before and so it was like it, it was a nice like culture trip um the second thing is Berlin has amazing food. Like if you're a foodie, Berlin is the place. 
I don't think I had a single bad meal there. Um, of course, I tried like currywurst and like some pretzels and stuff. And so, yeah, and three, the history in Berlin will just like you walk around and it's it's all around you and it's when you in, travel will make you a history junkie and when you walk around the city and you see this old architecture and then you see it butt up against this like brand new modern architecture and you're just like wow like you, you just you can like feel the history like just seep out and then like you go to a museum and you actually learn about um about it, it it takes you places. It makes you have a lot more respect for that city and stuff. And you know, like one of the uh, Instagram posts I did, um, it was of the uh, Berlin Wall from the East Side Gallery, and it's a uh, it's really an, an amazing thing that they're able to do to take something such as the Berlin Wall, which is such a divisive thing of the city, and turn it into a work of art, and it's absolutely phenomenal. Um, Definitely go see that. Now, uh, I'm going to leave you all with this one tip um, before I head out here because I know this video is already long. When going to Berlin, check the museums and like check the websites and stuff ahead of time because some of the museums, they do um, free days, um, different times during the week or different times during the month. So kind of like plan that so that way you can kind of like take advantage of like a free day at the museum. It's a really awesome thing to do. And... Uh, yeah, I definitely put on coming back. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I'm leaving a lot of stuff out of here because if not, this video would be forever long. So, yeah, sorry about that. Um, but if you like it, give it a good thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. You know, leave the comments below, blah, blah, blah. And I will see y'all next time.